Hey folks, Chef Steve here with a quick little recipe for you. A cousin of mine wrote me and said, hey, you should be doing something with those forsythia in your backyard. And I was like, what, forsythia? So these beautiful yellow flowers that grow all over the neighborhoods here in North America uh, are an edible flower. Who knew? Now I know. So what I'm going to be doing is incorporating some of these flowers with honey from my apiary. And I'm going to be making a honey and forsythia syrup. Now I could actually use the forsythia like I did with the dandelion and the violets and make a jelly out of them, but enough for the jelly. I've got a cupboard full now. So I'm going to be making some syrup to go in my tea and possibly on pancakes and French toast. So I got to get back. I got to fill this thing up with some, some flowers here and you'll see the recipe. So let's see what we have. Uh, it is still a little warm, and I expect to get a little bit more viscous as it cools down. So let's see what we have for flavor profile. Mm. The honey really comes through. And uh, on that note, I wanna talk a bit about the honey. The reason I mix sugar with the honey in this syrup recipe is because the honey that I have is from my hive from the late fall harvest. Meaning uh, here in this part of Ontario where I'm from, uh, my bees have collected most of their honey from the goldenrod and the goldenrod honey is a very strong, it's, a, it's an incredible honey, but it's a very strong honey. I've made it a little bit stronger than one to one for that reason, because I want it to be a, a good strong syrup. The floral notes of the forsythia really comes through quite well in this, and it's hard to explain the flavor. I mean, I, I can't really compare it to anything, but except for uh, it has some really cool floral notes to it and uh, it's quite unique. With that, got a little bit of tea steeping here, and I will leave you folks on um, final note. If you have enjoyed this video or any of my other videos, and you haven't subscribed yet, then please do so. Pass along to friends, family, and get them to do so as well, as I will be coming out with a lot more videos of this foraging slash recipe nature. And um, do so yourselves. And if you happen to make some forsythia syrup, enjoy your tea, as I am going to do right now.